Hello everybody, this is Rich Cespedes and I want to upload a video to talk about how to become influenced and uh, how to find inspiration to perform uh, psychonesis, to practice telekinesis and things like that and these other abilities. The thing is here is that it's very important to take advantage of every opportunity uh, that you have at your disposal uh, at any moment that you feel that you feel in the mood that you feel um, optimistic that you feel enthusiastic about practicing you feel that um, you're ready you have to grab those opportunities and do it when I first started out I got inspired from the littlest things and I utilized those moments that gave me hope and gave me um, inspiration, enthusiasm, um, um, optimism, and a sense of uh, determination. Um, c certain things happen in my life, and these things happen in everyone's lives. It doesn't matter what they are. It doesn't matter how trivial or small or um, um, disconnected it seems, as long as it's influences you to get up and to practice you have to grab those moments by the horns and just go and do it and without any judgment or doubt in yourself that's how Trevor Seven does it that's how I do it that's how a lot of these other people do it that's how Obi Kinesis has done it I'm pretty sure he's he just takes it by the horn he just does it he feels it in himself and he knows it but the thing is though what I'm trying to say is that there's moments in our lives that we have to um we had to let it influence us, to wake us up a little bit, to get those enthusiastic butterflies in the stomach going, you know, to get the imagination running in the mind, and to get our faith up. We had to utilize every moment in our lives. These moments could be um, the energy, or a, or a certain thing that your brother or sister says, you know, after watching a, a movie on TV or something like that, or after playing out in the park, you know, they say something about, you know, it could be anything. It could be after playing with them or something like that, you know. All of a sudden, you just get this jolt of enthusiasm and, and optimism, and you just feel like, you just feel right, and it feels like, okay, I'm going to practice now. I'm going to go practice. It's small moments like that that just come, that just come out of nowhere. You know, it doesn't matter what it is or what it was, as long as it influences you to go back and to practice. You have to, you have to let life uh, influence you. You have to let life, you know, it's like you're going down a river and you're flowing down and you're, you're going to hit some bumps and some rocks and things like that. But when you're going, but when you hit that stride, when you hit that stream, that perfectly smooth stream, you have to just let that stream speak to you and let it affect you inside and it doesn't have to be just that it could be anything after watching a film or something like that like i remember watching um the avengers uh um the age of ultron or voltron whatever his name is um after watching that film you know i made a video about this i was very influenced by the film it was very inspiring it was a good film and i went back to my side wheel and I spun it for the first time ever I did it and it was all because of just some movie and some situation that was not even connected to it at all but it helped me to kind of be like yeah okay I'm gonna do this you know and it doesn't have to be that way it could be anything it could be um, after visiting your your family and Thanksgiving or something like that you know or on Christmas or something or coming back from school or something like that or being with your friends and, you know, you go out, you know, not everybody, you know, there's kids watching my videos and all that. But I just want to say that some of us, we spend time with our friends and we come from, um, from drinking. It's like 10 with our friends, our buddies, we're driving down and then we get this feeling, this enthusiasm. This comes out of nowhere. And we're like, yeah, I'm going to practice now. I'm going to practice, you know. This is a good, good thing for me. I'm going to go practice. And you go home and you get straight to it. And this feeling just comes out of situations that are not even connected to it, but they help us to feel good, to practice. That's what helped me. That's what drove me. And that's what you guys have to do, too. Find those moments and let it inspire you. And like I said in my uh, top 
a telekinesis tutorial. Even if even if nothing happens, even if the object doesn't move or something like that, remain neutral. You know, don't get upset. Don't get too happy. If something does happen or doesn't happen, just remain neutral. Just be observant. You know, be in the moment. Let it go. Just let the situation occur and just record it. But don't react in any way. Just maintain that enthusiasm. Maintain that that flow of constant state of progress. You're in a constant state of progress. The next time you practice, when you hold that enthusiasm and that determination within yourself, constant state, the next time you do it, whether it be the third or fourth time, it's going to work. And the more you do it, the more you become consistent, the more that you understand yourself, the more you understand what it takes for you to make it happen. And I know that many people that are first starting out, you don't know what the hell you're doing. Neither did I when I first started out. But this is how it works. Life perpetuates your ability. This is how it works. This is how you build the bioelectricity within your stomach, the chi, to condition your enteric nervous system, to condition yourself. This is how it works. It takes time. There's gaps sometimes, and, and sometimes it takes a little slow, but this is how it works. You have to stick with it. Believe in yourself. You can do it. Believe what I say, please. Remember to continue to watch my videos. You guys can do it. God bless. Pay attention.